Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook all live in my fridge. And I mean that almost literally because I use the brick to help stay off my phone while I'm working or trying to stay focused on family. Let me show you how it works. For years, I tried to use the time limit feature on my iPhone, then I would hit ignore, remind me in 15 minutes, and I would just keep using the app over and over again. The difference with the brick is you actually have to tap it with your phone in order to gain access. So let me show you. I hit brick in the app, tap to my particular brick, and then when I go to my home screen, you can see I've locked almost all of my apps using the brick. So if I wanna open Gmail or Facebook, it says this is a distraction, and I can't use the app, which is great. If I wanna unlock it again, I have to go to the brick app, tap my brick again, and now my apps will unlock. What's cool is you can do different modes. So you can see I have default mode here, but you can add modes. So I know people who have created a gym mode, a work mode, going out mode, etc. And so for the gym mode, you can have something like YouTube or Spotify available so you can still listen to your podcasts, etc. So pretty much anytime I'm at my desk upstairs, I can't access Facebook. And if I really want to, I can go downstairs, tap on the fridge, use it for a few minutes, and then I brick my phone again. Now, the interesting thing is since it blends in so well to my fridge, I actually used it really well for the first two weeks and then I started forgetting to brick my phone. I would just walk right past the fridge, I don't snack a ton, and then my phone wouldn't be bricked and I'd find myself still on Facebook. If I put it too close to my desk and I had it right there, it means I could lock and unlock my phone whenever I wanted. So I found a spot just outside of my office and I actually placed it on the washing machine and that is now where I keep my brick. Now the one thing I will note is you could get stuck with an app that you need unlocked when you're not home. For instance, the first week I had the brick, I went out with a friend, then I needed to order a lift, and I forgot to mark it as an accepted app. So when I clicked on it, it said, this is a distraction, you can't open lift. Thankfully in the brick app, they have an option to do an emergency unlock. You get five of those, and then you have to reset your whole brick. So it's not like you can keep using them over and over again and have no consequences. You have to reset the whole app, it's a pain in the butt and it's supposed to be because those are really for emergency unlocks. The next week I went out to lunch with a few friends and I needed to Venmo somebody. And again, I forgot to do Venmo. So I had them send me a request. When I got home, I unbricked my phone, sent it, and now I unlocked the Venmo app. So whenever I brick, I have access to Lyft, my bank account apps, Venmo, Cash App, all those things. I highly recommend it if you're trying to stay off your phone. Just remember that you still need to use it. It is not gonna keep you off your phone if you don't use it. Just like anything, if you buy a treadmill and it just sits there, eh, it's not really gonna help you. If you have any questions about the brick or my experience with it, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you wanna order your own, I put the link in the description and I hope you subscribe and watch the next video. Thanks so much, peace.